It is time to pick out a new skateboard today. I'm very excited. I don't know what I'm gonna pick out yet, but the catch of this video is I'm gonna be setting it up with chopsticks, which is going, I don't know, I don't know how that's gonna work. That was your guys' decision. I went on Twitter, asked you guys what object I should try to set up a skateboard with, and you guys, someone said chopsticks. There are a lot of other really good suggestions too. I'm probably gonna do those in the future, but chopsticks was the one that stuck out to me personally. We're gonna do that. I'm also gonna stop pointing at my eyeball. Here we have the Monster series. It's very good. I love this series, but I don't think I'm gonna choose this just because uh, monsters scare me. I like these boards a lot. I think I'm actually gonna go with this one. This is Aaron Cairo's dragon board. I did, it's the pro model. I don't know what it's called, but it's the dragon board. Chinese dragon. Get it? Perfect. And I ride an 8.5, which is right here. Uh, contrary to popular belief, this is very difficult. Oh my. This might be impossible. Oh, I got it. I got it. We got it. Okay, now that uh, I have my damaged skateboard, let's get some grip tape. Oh, I nailed that. That was awesome. <laughs> the chopstick master. I already have all the other stuff in here, so uh, let, let's let's get started. Oh wait, we need a razor blade. Crap. Oh wait, I'm not using a razor blade. I'm using chopsticks. I forgot. We don't need. Razor blades. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Okay, so here's the skateboard. It is the Aaron. I'm just gonna call it the Aaron Cairo Dragon Ball. No, can't say that. It's the Aaron Cairo Dragon Board. That's what it is. It's the thing. It's the thing. So uh, let's let's unravel this. Okay, I, actually, I only need one chopstick for this and do it. Ooh, that was smooth. That was better than a razor blade. That was that was awesome. All right, next is the Jessup grip tape. We're gonna apply this uh, with with chopsticks. Which how? I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. All right, we just kind of just kind of peel it. <laughs> Ooh, that, this is a thing. This is literally impossible. I did it, I did it. Okay, let's lay it down smoothly. Very, very smooth, shoot. Crap! Okay, we, we got this. I made a mistake. Okay, the left-handed chopsticks is hard. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Look at that, perfect. One motion. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, lay it. That's, that wasn't bad. Just gotta, okay, next, this side. Might get a few air bubbles, but it's really no big deal. Okay, it's, it, we got a lot, we got an air bubble this big. Okay, we just gotta roll out the air bubbles, you know, easy stuff, it's no big deal. It's actually a very good use of a chopstick. I recommend this, even if you're setting up a board the, the normal way, just use a chopstick, roll out your air bubbles. Perfect. Oh yeah, <laughs> that looks good. Now this is the part where uh, I have no idea if this is gonna work. Hopefully the chopstick doesn't like sand down and break, but uh, let, let's try it and see what happens. Oh wow, that's like, that's really good. Oh, that's an awful noise though. I might accidentally like start a fire with this thing. Oh my gosh, can you see that? It like concaved in. Oh my gosh, this is gonna break by the time I'm done with this. My plan is to just scrape it down until I barely even have to cut it because I, th I think that'll make everything way easier. Okay. Hopefully the chopstick doesn't like sand down and break. I made a new chopstick. All right, okay, I don't know how I'm gonna like get this started to cut. That's not gonna work. Oh, it worked. It worked kind of. Oh, that's horrible looking. That is awful looking. All right, let's see how this works. Oh my gosh, this is, oh no. <laughs> oh no, this is bad. Maybe I should just scrape it down until it, it just falls off, I don't know. I think this is honestly like what I'm gonna have to do is just keep on scraping until the whole grip tape just comes off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I poked a hole. It might work. Just go like that. Okay, so pretty much I'm just ripping. I'm, I'm sawing, oh gosh, look what I just did. That's not good. Well, as you can see, I already ruined my board a little bit, so that's that's great. Let's saw our way to victory. This is literally gonna take half an hour. Okay, I have a new strategy, and it's to poke a bunch of holes through the grip tape and then just rip it like this. And it looks awful, but uh, you know, I think it'll have to do. Wow, all right. That's something. We'll, we'll clean it up later. That was supposed to be really sharp so I could cut it easier and uh, that's what it turned into, okay. Just like a razor blade. Oh yeah, perfect. I'm actually doing good right now. Oh, it's cutting a lot. That's good. All right. 
not bad. Dude, it's awful. Th this is what your skateboard will look like if you try to set it up with chopsticks. I think I might be able to smooth it out a little bit just by you know, going like this. Uh, but I don't want to waste three hours, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it just like this. All right, now that we have the uh, skateboard gripped, now we just need to poke some holes with a, a chopstick, a broken chopstick. That did not work at all. Perfect. That's, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so this is uh, Force Hardware this time. Uh, I'm gonna be setting it in to the holes very, very easily. As you can see, it's not hard at all. Oh my gosh. I'm not cheating. I'm definitely not cheating. Oh my gosh. Oh, perfect. That was awesome. Okay, I didn't, I didn't cheat. Wow, first try, that was crazy. All right, just gotta carefully lay the truck on there. Come back, come back, okay. Got it, I got it. I don't know how I have it, but I have it, okay. Lay it right there. <gasps> how did I do that? I literally did that with chopsticks, that, that is insane. Okay, okay, careful, careful. Perfect. Perfect. So this takes a lot of concentration, as you can see. Quite a lot of skill, but I think it's working out. It's not, it's not twisting at all. You know it would suck if I, if I put these on backwards? I did it, did it again. It's working. Not. All right, so as you can see, I have a beautiful finished skateboard right here. Uh, you know, I, the, the wheels and trucks are a little rattly because it's kind of hard to tighten trucks with, uh, with, with chopsticks. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna skate it just like this. <laughs> I'm not gonna tighten it, I'm, I'm gonna skate it just like this. Listen to how awful that sounds, oh my gosh. It's got rolled. That sounds so bad, oh my gosh. All right, so technically, I, I set this board up with chopsticks. Like, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. The, the goal was achieved, but I don't want these holes to get like really big from this rattling around. So I, I am gonna drill it in. I know that's cheating. I'm sorry, uh, but you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to forgive me. Look at the wheel bite just from trying like five kickflips. That's because uh, the trucks were, are not, they're not on. All right, we're done. I didn't use chopsticks for that one. I'm sorry. Now let's do some tricks on a skateboard that will actually work. I'm sick right now and I feel like I can't skate, so uh, that, that, that's all you're getting today. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I do not recommend setting up a skateboard with chopsticks unless you want your board to look like it just got attacked by the lawnmower. Oh, and I forgot to do a review of the board. Once again, this is like the Aaron Cairo new pro model dragon deck. We got Thief Treks, we got the new Force Vortex? I think they're called Vortex wheels? I don't know what they're called. They're that new shape and it's awesome, look it up. We have Juju Silver Bearings, Jessup Grip Tape, which I'm sorry Jessup that I just hurt, I hurt you a lot. I think I'm gonna redo the grip tape with, you know, not chopsticks. But yeah, that's it. You can get all this stuff at the shredquarters.com, I think. Yeah, no, you can get all of this stuff at the shredquarters.com. I also forgot to put on these uh, rails right here. These are, these are rails that you put on the bottom of your board to uh, do longer, cooler, better board slides. Uh, I'll put them on later, so uh, that, that's all I have to say. Hope you guys dug this video. You want to do a kickflip? Sure. Yeah, do it. You can do it. With chopsticks? With chopsticks? Yeah, do, do a kickflip with chopsticks. Why, why are you doing it with your hands? Because it's more likely it's going to happen. Okay. Okay. Boom. Good, good job. I'm proud of you. Good job. That was, that was stupid. Okay. Oh, we're battling? Okay, we're battling now. Hi. Oh, that could hurt you. Yeah, right? Okay, okay, I'm, I'm leaving. Oh! Hey, JP, can I see that? Thanks. Oh my God, are you kidding? <laughs> well, there goes that video.